Hey, what's up, high levelers? In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can set up number pools for dynamic call tracking inside Go High Level. Now, before I dig into the configuration, I want to briefly talk about what exactly is dynamic call tracking, how is it different than the static call tracking, which is kind of the old way, and how can it be helpful for you. So let's talk about static call tracking first. Now, this is kind of the old way. Let's imagine you are a construction company and you do different types of services like kitchen remodeling or bathroom remodeling, and you put up a flyer campaign, and then you also have a paid ads campaign, and let's say you do SEO as well. Now, you want to measure the impact of each of these campaigns. So what you do is you put up different numbers on each of these campaigns so that when you receive the calls, you can measure the impact of all these different campaigns that are running out, right? Now, this is kind of the old way, and it is really hard for you to switch out numbers in each of these campaigns. So let's talk about how dynamic call tracking works and why is it better than the static one. So let's say you have different landing pages for kitchen remodeling or uh, let's say bathroom remodeling. So in dynamic call tracking, what will happen is somebody searches you up on Google and they land on different pages. So like, let's say user one goes to the kitchen remodeling page and then somebody else goes to the other page, right? Now, based on dynamic call tracking, how you have set that up, the numbers would appear differently. So let's say there will be a 424 number and it has like 1009 at the end for the first user, but it will have, let's say 3115 for the second one because the numbers will change dynamically and you won't have to hard code them into it. So why we do this is basically because we want to firstly tie one different number to each of the campaigns or landing pages so that we can track, you know, which one is performing better. And then the number can also change based on, you know, where the person is calling from so it becomes more local and it, it performs a little bit better and at the like at the reporting side you can also see that you know what did the user search for let's say the keyword and what number the call came from so you can measure the performance of the keywords and the campaigns as well and that is how dynamic call tracking works now that we have the basic understanding of how dynamic call tracking works let's jump into go high level and set this whole thing up all right, to set this up, we have to head over to settings, undergo high level, and then head over to phone numbers. So once you are on the screen, uh, just click on add number. And once you do that, you will see an option to select add number pool. So that is the one we're going to go with. Now, it gives you a couple of options, uh, a marketing campaign or visitors activity. You can read the description. So in marketing campaign, it's just for one kind of campaign, which is like one channel. So let's say you only are doing paid ads and nothing else. But if you're doing like paid ads, you're doing SEO, you have more keywords, all of that then visitors activity is the recommended action because it can have multiple numbers and you can track from multiple sources. But in marketing campaign, you can only do a singular one. So for this demo, I'm just going to go with visitors activity because it's a bit more sophisticated. And I want to show you guys how you can set this up for your business. So let's select that one and click on tracking options. Now it gives us some options to select from. You can select, you know, based on what kind of campaigns you're doing. But you have if you have like more than two or three different campaigns, you're doing SEO, ads, all that stuff, I would recommend that you select all visitors and you can see it is recommended already as well. So let's click on that and click on create pool. Now you can select a name for your number pool. You can say, let's say if, you know, if I run a construction company, I can do construction company campaign Q3, something like that. It's just a friendly name. It doesn't matter really what you name it. Then you can select the pool size. Now this is a really important thing. Uh, we cannot have less than four numbers for our, you know, for this for this number pool so you at least need to select four or you can have more if you have more channels out there or more campaigns running in parallel you can select you know eight or more but for now we're just going to keep four because that is the minimum one then it says where should the calls go to so all these dynamic numbers that will be shown to the leads if they call that where should the calls go right now this is where you can put your front desk number or whoever takes the calls at your practice or your office you can put that number in so i'm just going to put in my dummy number here right now 6838 and then you also see this option of swapping number now what is a swapping number because when you set up this dynamic campaign or dynamic call tracking you will at least need to put one number on your funnels or landing pages that will be swapped right so it can either be the same number which is, you know, the 410 number here that I've selected. In this case, you will just, you know, tick the checkbox. If you want to have a different number that you will put on the funnels, which will be replaced later, you can uncheck this option and put the number that you want in there. For now, I'm just going to click on the checkbox and acknowledge these settings and then move on to the next step. All right, so in this step, we have to create tracking numbers. Now, we can say 
numbers local to the 410 number because then it you know that way the numbers will have that local element so if you get calls from your area only you can do that or you can also select you know different area codes or you can do toll free numbers for now i'm just going to go with numbers local to the 410 number so it, it you know it looks more local and it says no numbers available right now so it could be a possibility for you in that case you can easily go with toll free numbers and you can do like 833 or 844 you can choose whatever works best for you and then it says you know all these numbers are available for you you can also add existing numbers from your go high level account if you prefer that for now let's you know move with these four numbers that we have been presented with and click on the next button so now we get an option to add the whisper message so you know it can be call from PPC campaign. So this this is the whisper message that will be played to you. And then we can also enable call recording and, you know, it will say a default message like this will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. You can customize this if you want. For now, just, just tick, you know, let's just take it and move forward. So we're going to click on activate numbers and this will just take a few seconds and set this whole thing up for us. All right, so now that we have this set up, I'm going to head over to number pools and you can see that construction company campaign Q3 is set up. We have all visitors as the source. Then we have four tracking numbers. If you click on the three dots, you can get the information. Now I'm going to talk about how are we going to set this thing up. So the first step is we have to add the swapping number. This is the number that we have to copy. So uh, it gives you the local format as well as the international format, depending on where you're running your campaigns. So we have this number that we copied. All we have to do is copy the number, uh, which is showed here. And I'm just going to paste it one more time here. So let's do this thing real quick. I'm going to copy this. I have it written on my other screen. And let's head over to funnels. All right, so I've just set up a basic funnel. So one landing page is for bathroom remodeling and one is for kitchen remodeling. And I'll show you the example of how we would set this up. So I just copied the number over uh, that we have to add here. So that is again the swap number or you know where the calls are going forward to. So I'm just gonna copy this, add it into this step for the bathroom remodeling landing page. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over for the kitchen remodeling page as well. So you wanna have the same number that I just copied from here. This is the number that we have to copy. If you wanna put it in local format, you can you know put it in this format. So let's just add that here uh, to this page as well. So I'm just gonna do that here quickly and then hit save. So we'll actually, we'll test it. But before we do, do that, there's another uh, setting that we have to add. And I will talk about that in a moment. So it says that you can choose not to replace certain numbers. So if you want to do that, I'll, I'll show you how you can do it. So let's say for a landing page, you don't want this to happen. Uh, what you will do is you will select the element where you have added the uh, phone number. You'll go to advanced and in the, in the class, you will mention no swap so that it get excluded. So since right now we're just, you know, wanting to include everything, we'll head over back to the settings here and then add the script. So we have to add this script in order for this to work. And we can easily copy this from the settings and then we're going to come back to the funnel. Now there's two types of configuration we can do at this point. One is if you want this to work across all the funnel pages, so let's say, you know, you want it to work on bathroom remodeling as well as kitchen remodeling, then you will go to settings and then under the body tracking code, this is where you will paste the code, right? And then hit save. But if you only want it to work on some specific page, you will open that in the editor and then under settings, you will go to the tracking code and in the footer code, you will paste it. So this way it will only work on a custom page that you have selected, not the entire funnel. So because we wanted to work on the entire funnel for now, I'm just gonna hit save here. And once this is saved, we are gonna visit these different pages. So if you remember, the number that I selected or put in was 410-357-6838. Now let's test if this thing actually works and open these pages one by one. All right, so it's testing time. The first thing I'm gonna do is before I open the bathroom remodeling landing page, I wanna to go to the editor first just to make sure what number did we put in. So this is the number and it should not show up because this should be dynamically swapped with the number pool, right? Or the numbers from the number pool. So let's go back here and let's open this up. So this is the first landing page and you can see that it did not show up the 410 number. In fact, it's showed up a trophy number from the number pool and this is you know completely dynamic and it switched that out. Now, now, if we have to test it for the other page as well, uh, what I'll do is I'll copy the link and open it on a different browser so that it can, you know, can differentiate between two different kinds of traffic. 
and let's just open that here. So you will see that it opened up an 844-754-2066 number, which is, the, which is different from the one that we had here. So that one was ending at 2066, and this one is 1207. So you can see that for both the landing pages, it is swapping out the numbers, and it is completely dynamic. It is different numbers. So that way, you can actually track how you know the traffic is coming in and where it is coming from, and it you know, changes that uh, completely uh, on, on its own. All right, so the last step in this whole thing is how can we see the reporting and how will it work, right? So in order to understand the reporting part, you'll have to go to reporting on the left-hand side of your main menu inside Go High Level and then go to card reporting. Right now, because I do not have any data, I just set this whole thing up from scratch, but I'm going to show you a quick animation of how would you be able to see the uh, reporting side of things. So this is a kind of uh, full-blown dynamic call tracking campaigns reporting. You have different numbers from here, and like you can see that you know there's different types of numbers, and it, it is showing the keywords, where people are coming from, and which landing page, so you can differentiate between... Uh, you know, how your traffic is coming in, which one is, conf you know, converting better. And this will give you a basic overview of how things are working on different types of channels or different types of landing pages or campaigns. All right, so this was a brief demo of how dynamic call tracking using number pools work inside Go High Level. I hope it helps you and do try it out inside your account as well.